Attention everybody, are you an aspiring content creator? You want to get on YouTube and share yourself with the world and don't quite know how or where to start? I have a solution for you. So I would like to introduce you to De Silva Silva, a fabulous content creator who has helped many others to become content creators and she's ready to help you as well. In fact, she has an ebook out to help guide you and teach you everything you need to know about becoming a content creator. And I think you'll find it very beneficial and I would like to encourage you to reach out to De Silva so that she can help to get you started on your journey to becoming the content creator that you've been wanting to become. So please go ahead and reach out to her to learn more. You can contact Ms. De Silva via email at DeSilvaTalkShow at gmail.com. Her email address can be found in the description of her channel and I will leave the link to her channel right underneath this video. There is money to be made in these YouTube streets y'all. Okay, so let's go. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. Now y'all, I'm back briefly to address a post that Stormy put out last night. I guess in response to her being called out for having a white labeled ass product. Y'all can consider this a part two because I cleared her ass yesterday, but she appears to want some more. Okay, so since she want to play in our faces, let's go. Because I'm tired of that line ass copy and paste ass cast trying to play in our faces i want to share some with y'all okay real quick because it's very relevant to what i'm talking about today so recently oprah was a guest on jennifer hudson's talk show and jennifer hudson was telling oprah how fine stepman was and was asking her how she dealt with all of that fineness i guess meaning stepman and oprah began to tell jennifer that for one she never snooped because if you have to snoop, there's a problem there already. She said that she ain't checking no phones and none of that because she'd been there and done that in her previous relationships. And she started to tell everybody how one time she followed her boyfriend all the way to the other bitch house and saw him cheating with her own eyes, okay? <clears throat> However, her boyfriend's response was, are you going to believe me or your lying eyes? And I feel like that's exactly what Stormy is asking the people. Are you going to believe me or your lying eyes when it comes to this body glaze? The only thing with that is that our eyes is not lying. Okay, she is. And it's quite shameful. See, her big ass mouth is one of the reasons folks don't like her ass. Okay. Her running her big ass mouth, acting as if she was the only one capable of having a real chemist. Okay. Her running her big ass mouth insinuating that Mel was going to white label her products. Okay. That has come to bite her in the ass. She has this mindset where she believes that she is the only one that can do great things. And she just has to be the most successful black person in the room. And wants people to treat her that way. And it's not working out for her. So now she's mad. She's mad because people don't believe her lies. The same reason the rest, okay, are mad. We see this bitch with the exact same product that other folks are out here selling. But she want to make people think that the shit is some shit that her and a chemist formulated. And ain't nobody believing that shit, okay? If I formulated some shit with my chemist and I saw other companies selling that shit like it was theirs, you better believe I would have their asses up in court. But Stormy ain't going to do that. Because she know that that shit ain't hers. Okay? We see what we see. But she want us to believe that our eyes are lying to us. No, bitch, you're lying to us. And I know you're listening because that's what you do. Even though the time that you spend snooping on our channels can be the time that you spend getting them people they shit. Because there are very recent complaints out there about people not receiving that body glaze that your ass out here charging them $25 for. Okay? I'm tired of your clown ass and your clown ass antics. Okay? Me and Here for High Tea are two of the content creators that you blocked from your Instagram page. Neither one of us have DM'd you though or went to your page and said anything to you ever. But you blocked us only to bring your ass to our channels to listen to our commentary, okay? So you can hear what we're saying about your trifling ass, get mad, and then report us for telling the truth. But you lie and call our truth bullying. Bitch, you're the bully. 
okay? And your mama one as well. But you want to go around lying, talking about somebody bullying your sad ass. You be coming to my channel though, okay? Under fake accounts, in my opinion. Because a snake ain't going to rear its ugly head, okay? Over here on my channel. They're going to disguise themselves behind fake accounts. She's a coward-ass, childish-ass bitch because she want to block people from commenting on her page. Not that I want to, not that I would, okay, because I have my own platform. But she wants to block people from commenting on her page, but she want to bring her bug-looking ass on the content creator's pages, okay? Posting, talking about something. Typically, she's quiet. Mind you, the ghetto mockingbird stay chirping. She copies everything Mel does, okay? And then get mad when she don't get the same results. And then she want to, you know, talk shit. My thing is, if she's such big shit, why does she need Mel's fan base? Why can't she develop her own? She is the prime example of bitches who be out here wanting what the next one got. What's for Mel ain't for your trifling ass, Stormy. You will never be on Mel's level. Mel's people will never respect you, never support you. Not because you and her are not friends, but because you are ain't shit ass bitch. And that's just the reality of it. Now go cry about it like you do everything else. You victim, you. Go continue to do the cuff it challenge with, you know, the ones that you feel are beneath you. Go hang out with Martel and Sheree. Or how about you and Ariane go and get y'all hair done together? Because it's not like y'all asses wasn't sharing the same hairstylist, okay? And I have proof of that as well. Even though that thief stole my picture of the side by side that I created of you and Ariane. I found it on the stylist's Instagram page. And if that thief posted again, I'm going to call her ass out just like I did before. Because I don't like a lazy ass thieving ass bitch talking about something. Who else going to have this tea or receipt but me? And I'm sitting there like, bitch, me, because that's where the fuck you got it from. Right before my eyes, she tried to present my shit to her people as if it was hers. But anyway, y'all, when it comes to that body glaze, y'all, when it comes to that body glaze, there's a simple way that Tater Head can prove us wrong, okay? She can name her chemist and also post a legal paperwork. That says that she owns the body glaze formula. Until she does that, like I said yesterday, she's the lying ass bitch that we say that she is. And that shit that she's selling is white label as far as I'm concerned, okay? In my opinion, that's it, that's all. Just for the record, white labeling is a generic product made by a manufacturer and sold by multiple retailers. Is that not what's going on with that fucking body glaze? She mentioned in her comment under here for her tease video the other day that her body glaze is manufactured there in Huntsville. And like I said, that don't mean shit. They can be manufacturing some white label ass shit as far as I'm concerned. They are, okay? But let's get into what Stormy posted late last night, y'all, when she should have had her ass in the bed dreaming about becoming a better business person. She posted, everything happens for me, not to me. So thankful, blah, blah, blah. So thankful I documented every step of my journey, this go around, from pics to videos, warehouse movies, etc. I do mean everything. Canvas Beauty equals the next billion dollar lifestyle brand. So let me stop right there, okay? She said that she documented everything. We know for sure she didn't document those fucking lawsuits because us content creators had to do that with the help of Madison County Courthouse. Had it not been us exposing her ass, she would have definitely kept that shit a secret. Not one time did she make a video or take a picture of her ass down at the courthouse being sued. She damn sure didn't document her not sending them people they shit that they ordered. What she did was document the shit that she felt would make her look just as successful as male. And of course... It has been an epic fail. Okay? Mel recorded herself working out. There goes Stormy starting to record herself working out. Mel recorded herself packing orders. Stormy recorded herself packing orders. Mel recorded herself in the lab. Stormy recorded herself in the lab. Mel recorded herself sending out packages. There goes Stormy recording herself sending out packages. Mel's customers got theirs though. Okay? Mel was recorded on the show in a meeting with her team. 
And now Stormy is showing us that she has recorded herself in a meeting with some random ass people having her smell some shit. And she thinks that that is a legitimate receipt that's going to prove that her body glaze ain't white label. So let's talk about it because I'm tired of this bitch playing with us, okay? Do y'all remember that scene on Love and Marriage Huntsville where Mel shot a scene of having a meeting with her entire team so she would know about everything that was going to be on her plate for that year? Don Michelle was there. Her chemist was there. The lady that was in charge of booking her fashion shows was there. Her whole team was there in that room. But before they showed Mel and her team, though, I remember them showing Stormy in that sad-ass warehouse with her handful of employees who looked lost than a motherfucker. Okay, her and Mel's meeting was like night and day, and Stormy saw that shit, and so now she has started filming herself doing the shit that Mel be doing. Right after Mel do it, there she go doing it, trying to prove that she is on Mel's level when she's not. Okay, they are all inspired by Mel, but they will never say it. So they all attempt to copy her while telling themselves that they can do whatever she can do when that wouldn't be accurate. Then when they don't get the same results as Mel got. They mad. So last night, y'all, Stormy posted a video of herself getting, you know, sitting around a table in what was supposed to be a fragrance house. Let her tell it. And it was given. I saw Mel in her meeting with her people. So I'm going to try to recreate a scene like that for me so I can appear just as important as Mel do. She's trying to compete with Mel, but Mel ain't studying that girl. So Stormy is in competition with herself pretty much and still losing. Like I said before, how crazy is that? About as crazy as she is, okay? But check it out, y'all. Stormy called herself posting a receipt in the form of a video late last night. And just like that USPS receipt, the receipt wasn't receipting. Y'all remember that? Because I posted about it over on my Instagram page. She made a video claiming that she was contacted by the United States Postal Service, okay? That goofy ass bitch went and grabbed a piece of balled up ass paper, whatever it was, with some handwritten ass shit on there claiming that it was written, okay, that it was from the United States Postal Service with her lying ass. Since when they started sending out handwritten notices, but she think folks dumb when that would be the person that she see in the mirror, okay? I hope the United States Postal Service sent her lying ass a cease and desist because I damn sure made a post about her lying about their workers stealing her customer shit and tagged their asses in it over on Instagram so they would know what she was out here doing. That receipt that she posted last night, thinking that that was going to prove that the body glaze wasn't white label, was equivalent to that bullshit ass letter she posted regarding her customer's products allegedly being stolen by the United States Postal Service workers, okay? Whether that body glaze is white label, private label, whatever, the moral to the story is that that fucking formula ain't one that she created with no fucking chemist. That's some shit that was already made and she put her brand's name on it, in my opinion. Prove me wrong. I doubt if you can, but prove me wrong, okay, Tate ahead? Because if you could have, you would have, in my opinion. This bitch got a whole ass attitude with Tisha for allegedly copying and pasting her po- her return policy on the website or whatever, okay? And before that, she was down in content creators' comments telling them that they ain't have enough to get sued and they wasn't doing shit but telling the truth about her ass, but she not going to sue companies who are out here allegedly taking something that she allegedly created and selling it as their own? Bitch, please, you a whole ass clown for thinking anybody, including the slowest of the slow, will believe that. So let's get into it. She posted a video of her sitting in what she wanted us to think was a fragrance house. And she said, documented everything, literally created something so big. They're either trying to tear it down, copy, dupe it, or my fave, just simple support it. I, no, she said, in so thankful, the later is the loudest. First of all, before she sit her ass on another couch trying to make fun of somebody else, saying that they need to go back to school she needs to take a look at this post and realize that it's her ass that need to go okay second of all bitch you ain't create shit the manufacturers did and how a copycat gonna be out here talking about somebody else copied something and then she went into victim mode once again talking about how somebody trying to tear her shit down bitch you don't need our help for that you just started selling that body glaze late last year the complaints from your customers started rolling in back in 2020 it's easier for you to blame somebody else for the downfall of your business than to take accountability and just say that you was and still is a terrible ass business person that don't know what the fuck you doing okay other than taking people's money and you tore your own shit down 
How was you running an alleged multi-million dollar business with only about five fucking workers? Make it make sense. Because that's about how many we saw in the warehouse. And speaking of your workers, they so unprofessional just like your ass is. In one of your videos, one of your male employees was seen rubbing your customer's body glaze across his chest before stuffing it in the packaging. Yes, it was in a jar, but how unprofessional is that? Not to mention unsanitary, in my opinion. Because what if he had bed bugs on his shirt? That mean that they was going to be packaged up in your customer's packaging and shipped to them. If it even made it to them because... Some of your customers are still out here in 2024 saying that they haven't received their shit, but you out here blaming everybody else for the downfall of your business. Bitch, please. Okay? Bitch, please. And she was in the warehouse dressed up in a pink dress and an Elvira wig talking about, I have a team of 57 employees. So y'all, she didn't hire some new people. But let's see how long they stay on board because she don't like to pay her staff, in my opinion, since she was being sued for not paying her fucking staff. She said, I have a team of 57 employees I'm responsible for, and I will move the earth to make sure we all good. Bitch lies. You're going to make sure that you good, which is why your ass ain't good, because you trifling and shit ain't working out for you, okay? Since when you give a fuck about your employees, Destiny Jr., and you talking about moving the earth to make sure they good, bitch, you need to be making sure that your customer's good and not out here... You know, you're not out here taking their money and not sending them their shit. They're not offering no refunds, okay? You know what I'm saying? But fucking vouchers and shit. Bitch, bye. And just to think, some folks are out here dumb enough to think that we're supposed to support this trifling ass bitch just because she owns a black business. Apex is about to own her black business, okay? In my opinion. Ain't nobody about to support her trifling ass just because she a black business? Ain't nobody about to be out here supporting liars, frauds, and scammers. They make it bad for all the other black-owned businesses. And I'm talking about the ones who are out here trying to operate the right way. They make it bad for them. The ones who are out here trying to operate the right way with integrity and morals. It's because of bitches like her, some of them won't trust us and will take their you know, business somewhere else. Like to the Caucasian people. And I don't blame them. I'm going to shop with whomever I can trust to give me my shit. I don't give a fuck what color you are. There are some people out there who support Mel, but try to support Stormy, even though her and Mel wasn't cool. And Stormy ruined that, okay? Not Mel. And not the Melameters, but her. There's some content creators who ordered from Stormy, and they never received their shit either. Ain't nobody lying on that clown. These wannabe bosses of today think that they can just throw on a pair of heels, a suit, a dress, and a wig, and they automatically are successful. Absolutely not. They want fast money and don't want to put in the work that it takes to really be successful. They want to appear rich, but not put in the work to really be rich. You know what I'm saying? Money don't make you rich. But they'll have to learn that the hard way. Stormy one of them bitches that ain't going to never learn, in my opinion. Next, she going to be headed towards bankruptcy court wearing a t-shirt that says, but I'm rich though. Because that's how distorted her fucking mind is. But that's going to be all for this video, y'all. Because I'm tired of talking about this disturbed ass girl. But before I go... I wanted to put y'all on to another content creator who does Love and Marriage Huntsville content, okay? She was brought to my attention, and I just wanted to bring her to y'all's. Her channel's name is How, Why, the letter Y, See It TV. Maybe y'all can check her out and see if she's someone you would like to subscribe to, okay? I'll go ahead and leave the link to her channel right underneath this video, okay? On that note, y'all take care, and I will chat with y'all in the next one.